Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, my name is Patty. I make lots of videos about books and also my life, my lifestyle, my workouts, my hobbies, nine to five life, but mostly about books. So today's video is actually a how much I realistically read in a week. And so this is gonna follow me Monday through next Monday. So Monday through Friday, I obviously have like a typical nine to five job. Technically it's not actually nine to five, but it is like, 40 hours a week type of job is what I'm trying to explain. I actually just started reading and by just started, I mean literally last night and I only read one chapter because I was so tired, but I'm currently reading Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And this book is a literary fiction. Is that what it's called or general fiction? I think this book is what I'm gonna be reading throughout the week. Since I just started, I'm definitely not gonna finish it within this week, I don't think. But I kind of had the great idea of reading this like mostly throughout the day, like when I get home from work and then up till like around when I go to bed. And then I've also, like I've been dying to read this book, but I'm also somewhat kind of in the mood to read a darker romance right now for some reason, even though it's summer and I feel like this is giving summer vibes, which is part of the reason why I wanna read it. But I, I'm like kind of craving reading a darker romance. And lately I've kind of been making a habit of reading in the dark with my Kindle right before bed because I feel like whenever I read right before bed with the lights on, it kind of like hurts my eyes because they're just like straining because it's dark and then there's like a bright light right next to me. But I have my Kindle in dark mode and then I just wear my blue light glasses and read in the dark for like 30 minutes before bed. So I feel like Carrie Soto's back is not on Kindle Unlimited. Otherwise I would probably just read that. But because I'm in the mood for a darker romance and because Carrie Soto is back, is not on Kindle Unlimited, I am gonna read a dark romance on Kindle Unlimited for the last 30 minutes before bed like every night. So I'm gonna be reading two books at a time during this reading vlog is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so the second book that I'm gonna be reading this week is, you probably can't see it that well because of the glare, but Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. So I've, both of those books have been on my TBR for literally the longest time. And I knew I wanted to read Carrie Soto is back right after Kingdom of Ash. And then I've just been like looking for an excuse to read Haunting of Adeline. So, or Haunting Adeline. And yeah, but that's basically it. I'm gonna be reading those two books this week. Today is currently Monday. I have a few more hours than usual to read, which is really nice. So I'm gonna start reading Carrie Soto is back a little later today, maybe I'm gonna start dinner first because I'm pretty hungry, but anyway, gonna read some hours of Carrie Soto's back, hopefully get a few more chapters in, and then tonight when I'm going to bed, I'm gonna start haunting Adeline. Anyway, so sorry for that whole rant. <laughs> that was a really long explanation of this video, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching this and let's get into it. Hello guys, checking in. It is now almost 9.30, still Monday, and I honestly only read about 20 pages of Carrie Soto is back just because I have kind of unfortunately been a little more addicted to my phone than usual, so I need to get off that and back into reading. So I think I think these books are gonna help me. But anyway, I think maybe for the next like just 20 minutes I'm gonna read, but I'm gonna be reading starting Haunting Adeline in the dark, as I mentioned earlier, but anyway, just to show you guys, this is my Kindle in dark mode, so as soon as I turn off the light, like, you're not really going to be able to see me, but I just wanted to show you my setup, so this is me in bed, going to be reading my Kindle, just cozied up before bed, and then eventually I'm just going to take off my glasses and turn off my Kindle and fall asleep, so... You really cannot see me, but hey oh, you can still see my Kindle. But yeah, this is just gonna be me reading. So. Hello friends, checking in. It is Tuesday, almost 10 p.m. It is 9.52. And unfortunately, I didn't have much time to get work done today, or work, I mean reading done today. But actually, during my workout on the treadmill, I did read some of Haunting Adeline because I have the Kindle app on my phone. So literally on the treadmill, I was like reading for 15 minutes. I do have to say, I honestly don't know how far I will get into the book because right off the bat, I feel like the, like, just conversations, like the, 
dialogue and then just plot and everything it's kind of like a little cringe to me I know it gets really good good in the sense that it gets like fun and crazy and like I don't know just the relationship is really crazy and like drama filled so I feel like that's what a lot of people like about the story but I think everything else like all the other aspects I don't know if that, that'll be I don't know if the good parts will be enough of a driving force to make me continue through that but I'm gonna give it a chance I think I'm gonna get at least 30% of the way through and then if I don't love it I'll maybe won't keep reading it haven't had a chance to read any of Carrie Soto's back today but that is okay I think I'm literally just gonna read for like five more minutes on my kindle tonight and then go to bed because I'm it's already past my bedtime. I usually go to sleep at like 9.30. But anyway, just want to check in and say hey. And that's all the reading I've done today. But anyway, here we go. Happy Wednesday, guys. Same thing as yesterday. Didn't really have much time to read today. Because right after work, I did a workout class. Came home, made dinner, called my boyfriend. And then... I'm here now and I actually have to go to bed before like 9 on Wednesdays because Thursdays I go in at 6 a.m. instead of my usual 7 a.m. because you know construction that's what I work in so vibes kind of crazy but anyway I'm probably just gonna read for like 10-15 minutes but once again I kind of want to read in the dark and I don't want to have the light on for too much longer so I'm just gonna read Ponting Adeline on my Kindle for 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna go to sleep so that's my night and if you couldn't see a recurring trend here most of my weeks are incredibly busy hence why I also haven't been posting as much last month but you know I'm getting back on track of posting and reading more but the majority of my reading I do on the weekends and this weekend in particular I'm flying to Boston to go see my boyfriend because he we're doing long distance and he lives over there right now we hopefully I will get some reading done during my travels during the seven six hour flights so that'll be fun Thursday. Started reading Carrie Soto's back. I have like 30 45 minutes before I have to go to a friend's barbecue. But oh my god, I am still only like 30 pages in because I haven't read Carrie Soto's back the last few nights. But I kind of really like the writing style. I feel like it's kind of addicting in a way that she's like so incredibly motivated to just like win and like it's going through her like mind while. She's like calculating how to win a tennis match and everything and all her moves and I feel like it's so fast paced so I'm really liking the narration style so far. Hey guys, happy Friday. I am so excited because I'm traveling to Boston this weekend and by this weekend I'm, I mean I'm flying there tonight. I'm taking a red eye and I am in the middle of packing. Kind of have a mess going on here but as soon as I got home I read a little bit of Haunting Adeline. Honestly, I know I said before that it was kind of cringe and not that great, but <laughs> I feel like because it's so like dark and a little bit toxic, I feel like it's kind of luring me in. And so I'm definitely reading that more than I'm reading Carrie Soto's Back. But as I also said before, I feel like the narration style of Carrie Soto's Back is so in, I love it. Like it's kind of addicting, like just reading how passionate motivated and like crazy in a way kind of that she is and so I really like that book but I'm obviously gonna bring both Carrie Soto's back and my Kindle to read Haunting Adeline for my travels I'm gonna read a lot like in the airport on the plane not the plane there but the plane back and then I imagine I'm probably not gonna read a lot when I'm actually there because I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of stuff but Either way, I think it'll be a good time and it's super fun, but just wanted to check in and say today I have already read probably like 20, 30 pages of Haunting Adeline and I'm almost 100 pages in and then Carrie Soto's back, I'm probably only 30, 40 pages in, but you know, very, very slow progress that I've made this week. But as I've said before and probably same case with a lot of you guys, if you have a full-time job, a lot of my reading is done on the weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna keep packing and then update you guys when I'm at the airport.
Hello friends, happy Monday. I am currently in line for in and out <laughs> I just got off the plane. I landed like an hour later than I thought, but like I have the day off today because I'm on PTO. Um, also, don't mind my pimple patches. I've been breaking out pretty badly recently, but don't mind that. But it is now 1130, so I'm getting lunch in and out for lunch because that's kind of always the thing I crave when I fly back to California, which is... <laughs> kind of funny but it's nice because they're in and outs everywhere especially near near airports because that's kind of a common thing um but yeah oh my god I literally basically read the entire flight I think I read over three maybe around 300 pages on the flight alone and I slept for maybe one hour maybe two hours of it but like the flight was almost seven hours so I read probably like five almost continuous hours with like a, a nap break in between because I only slept like five hours before that but I've only been reading Haunting Adeline which is kind of funny because I literally when I first started reading it which was a week ago now so by the way this is the last day of the realistic reading week in my life but it's funny because as I'm sure you remember if you've watched this video the entire way through you know that I earlier said last week was like, oh, like, I think that this book I might DNF or something, like, it's kind of bad. But, like, I still agree with the sentiment that, like, in the beginning it was really cringy and, like, what the heck is going on? And it's still, like, it's now bad in, like, a different way. It's bad in the fact that, like, the content is insane. Like, if you are at all interested in reading this book, please read the trigger warnings. Like, this book is absolutely insane and so unhinged. But because it's absolutely insane and unhinged, it's kind of addicting to read. So I've kind of been reading it nonstop. So I'm now like 65% of the way through. I think I didn't realize how long this book was because on Kindle, I didn't, I don't really look at the page count. But like, if I'm, if I have a physical book, like I can kind of tell how long the book is, like if it's long or if it's not. I think this book is over 500 pages. But either way, it's flying by. It's crazy. I was reading it nonstop. But anyway, I think. Honestly, depending on how much more I decide to read today, I might finish it. It's kind of addicting and I don't really have any other plans today besides maybe going grocery shopping, but like I don't even know if I'm going to do that, which I might. It's only 11.30. I'll get home by 12.30, so I definitely will have time to grocery shop. But either way, just wanted to check in and say hey and I'm getting in and out for lunch. So I'm kind of so addicted I've decided to start reading while I wait in line for my in and out. <laughs> friends it is now 9 p.m and my goal is to be asleep by 10 p.m and i have 10 percent left of the book so i'm gonna try to finish tonight i literally went through i think like by the time i finish i was only at like 25 30 percent when i left this morning now i'm at like 90 so let's do this Haunting Adeline, let's go. Okay, I was just reading in the dark and I finished Haunting Adeline. Um, it's 10.09, so less than 10 minutes past when I wanted to go to sleep, but that's okay, it was worth it. Um, I would rate it a 3.25 out of five stars. Uh, it ended on a cliffhanger, so I already went ahead and added the second book onto my library on my kindle so i'm probably gonna read that next also sorry this is such weird lighting because i don't want to turn on the light but anyway that is the end of this video and thank you guys so much for watching how much i realistically read in a week that was fun i wasn't expecting to finish a book but i did and i'm happy and it was over 500 pages which i was surprised by but anyway i'll see you guys next time bye